All right, we've done chips, drinks, dogs, and now Pokemon. A couple people actually guessed that this was going to be the next one, so a uh, good job. But a few things before we get started. There are a few kinds of Pokemon I'm going to be ignoring for this, even if they would be better. Like, for example, I initially had Sorrel Tail as Sea King, and I don't want any fish. They just wouldn't work out. So, uh, legendary Pokemon, because they're a bit too special and a bit too lore-heavy to be any given warrior cat. And fish, because they can't really leave the water and they wouldn't be able to adapt to a proper warrior cat-style setting. Object Pokemon, however, are fair game, as most of them can float or roll. That said, there are so many non-object Pokemon that I probably won't care to use them. I'm also not restricting this to only pretty or cat-like Pokemon. I'll be mostly disregarding that because they're all cat char characters. I mean, I can't have everybody be Persian, Perugly, or whoever, you know? I also will be trying not to use the same Pokemon family twice, unless possibly in the case of Alolan forms. I am writing this before I decide which Pokemon everyone is. But I want to use those only sparingly anyways. As for clans, while my childhood Pokemon Warrior Cat combination role-playing, which I did in fact participate in, did restrict certain types to certain clans, I'm throwing that out and just using whatever types I feel are most suitable to the character. So, while the clans might have water, dark, electric, flying, and grass-themed names, I am not going to be restricting the clans to those types at all, as that would be boring and limiting. Also, I apologize if I say any Pokemon names wrong, like how I said Papillon wrong last time, or if in any way you're not used to. I did a lot of playing the video games and the card games and not a lot of watching the anime, so I really am not familiar with the way that most of these are actually written. Said. Said out loud. And while I have all of my choices for every Pokemon written down, my reasoning isn't actually going to be scripted. I figured it might be more fun that way this time, or at least I'll try it out, you know? <laughs> Uh, this isn't all going to be super in-depth or anything, I'm just, you know, g giving it a test run of being a little bit less scripted about this. As usual, my first cat is Firestar, and Firestar is Charizard. Now I know what you might be thinking, huh? Charizard? I thought you meant Pikachu, because you always start with a basic one for Firestar. And let me clarify, as a longtime Pokemon fan, I consider Charizard just as basic as Pikachu. So Charizard is obviously a more fitting Pokemon for the hero of the series that is based around fire. Graystripe is Bibarel. Uh, he is goofy, and Bibarel looks pretty goofy. He also spends some of his time in water, and I think Bibarel is the same. Sandstorm is Young Goose. She is stern and aggressive and kind of scary. Oh, and also yellow. Being yellow factored into this. Ravenpaw is Cubone. They're both kind of lonely and scared and nervous. Barley is Simisage. I consider him kind of a bad boy who settled down on the farm and decided to leave his delinquent days behind him, so it, I, I kind of saw it fitting as, like, farm grass type used to be bad, isn't anymore, you know. Blue Star is Empoleon. She's very regal and blue. Snowfur is a lowland Ninetales. I thought that she had to be an ice type and she had to be a very graceful looking ice type. Thistleclaw's Primeape, a Pokemon that doesn't stop fighting until it passes out. Redtail is Ladian. I wanted to pick a Pokemon on the weaker side for Redtail, uh, especially after reading Redtail's debt. I just thought it was more suitable. Lionheart is Pidgeot. Uh, much like a generic Generation 1 Pokemon, he is a generic Generation 1 warrior cat who doesn't really actually have all that much going for him. Brindleface is Sassino. I wanted to pick a Pokemon that just kind of looked soft and well-groomed, because that's always how I thought of Brindleface. Longtail is Ambipom, because he can do so much with his tail. L in SSS Warrior Cats, anyway. Dust Pelt is Conkledger. I actually thought about this one quite a bit, because I was trying to find the Pokemon that I felt most uh, resembled Dust Pelt as a construction worker, because that's his, uh, his main function in later books. Tiger Star is Rhyperior, because he's bad and nobody likes him. Broken Star is Dusk Noir. I, um, I was having trouble with this one, so I asked a couple people unfamiliar with Warrior Cats, um, wh which Pokemon were not very great with children, and they re <laughs> they recommend Dusk Noir based on his actions in, uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, so there you go. Stonefur is Golem. I am factoring names and appearances in a little bit more than usual in this one, just because, you know, we're talking about a lot of Pokemon and a lot of warrior cats. Uh, so I chose a sturdy rock type for Stonefur. 
Leopard Star is Persian for half name reasons and half just kind of the air of superiority she carries around with her. Yellowfang is Gengar. She is intimidating and mysterious and old. I'd imagine Gengar's old. It's a ghost after all. Crooked Star is Bastiodon. I really just chose this because Bastiodon reminds me of how I feel Crooked Star looks. <laughs> Likewise, Oakheart is Chestnut, just because I found it fitting. Maple Shade is Seviper. I wanted to give her an aggressive Pokemon and also a Pokemon that had some association with snakes, so it worked out pretty well. Tall Star is Raichu. I wanted to give him just kind of a generically good Pokemon, but one with a long tail. Dark Stripe is Weezing. <laughs> I bet you thought I was going to make Grey Wing Weezing, didn't you? <laughs> Sorrel Tail is Ivysaur. I just kind of wanted to make her a pleasant grass type Pokemon. She doesn't really have much going for her in the personality department. Rackenfur is Stantler. He's a good, average boy with just a few surprises, uh, just like Stantler. Meanwhile, Thornclaw is Lanoon. Uh, he's a good, average boy with no surprises at all. Cinderpelt is Stuffle. I was trying to think of Pokemon that were peppy but still strong. Spotted Leaf is Lilligent, a grass type known for its sweet smelling flower, which I thought was suitable. People are always smelling Spotted Leaf after all. Brightheart is Larvesta. To be honest with you, this was mostly a color based choice. I really wasn't sure what to go with for her. Misty Star is Whale Rain. I wanted her to kind of mirror her mother in type. Ashfur is Typhlosion. I definitely wanted to use a Fire-type Pokemon, and I also wanted to use a Pokemon that was a little bit intimidating. Ferncloud is Servine. I actually tried to find Pokemon that looked like they had ferns on them, but it was kind of hard, and I hate Sceptile. Shh, shh don't tell anyone. Um, but, so I didn't really want to put her as Sceptile, because it's a Pokemon that I just, I don't like the pimples, the, 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 the pimples on his back, or his bow-leggedness, or his, uh, eyes which are bloodshot it's it's all really really strange to me um so i went with servine instead of superior because i just thought it would be sweeter if she could stand up brambleclaw is mighty anna i wanted him to be a kind of intimidating dark type pokemon so it would be reasonable that he needs to prove himself in front of everyone else meanwhile tawny pelt is electrobuzz because it felt right squirrel flight is Brakeson, a pokemon with a really big poofy tail leaf pool is boizel I really thought that it would be most suitable for her to be a water-type Pokemon because I feel like the pool in her name is much more important than the leaf. Feathertail is Vaporeon, one of only two evolutions that I decided to use this entire way through. She's kind of a scrappy, attractive young person and I felt it was suitable. Stormfur is Politoed, as I'd like to imagine he can set up a rain dance team. Brook is Mudbray, I was thinking a little bit how she's just a small, brown cat and also how the tribe cloaks itself in mud. Crowpaw is Sneasel. I just wanted to pick a dark, sort of edgy character, while still being a bit pretty to be suitable to Crowfeather. One star is Raticate, because he's a rat. Hawkfrost is Glalie. It took me a long while to think of what I wanted Hawkfrost to be, because I wanted it to be something with blue eyes, something that was ice type, and something that was in some way aggressive. So I kind of came to the conclusion of Glalie, even though his name starts with Hawk, I, uh, Abandoned any idea of it being something that flew. Mothwing is Dustox. This is easy because I wanted it to definitely be a moth and I really wasn't feeling Venomoth. Blackstar is Shiftry. I mostly chose this because it's partially a dark type and also partially a type that would be super effective against Stonefur. Jayfeather is Gardevoir, which might sound a little bit weird to you, but Gardevoir is a Pokemon that has a very deep psychic connection with people, specifically its trainer, and I just thought it was a suitable for a jay feather who could read into others emotions holly leaf is nidorina i wanted a poison type very specifically for holly leaf and i thought nidorina was a pretty good choice lion blaze is blaziken he absolutely had to be a fire fighting type so it was between you know three of the starters ultimately i picked blaziken over the other two because it can mega evolve and i noticed that all three of the pokemon that i chose for the actual three can mega evolve Millie is Unpheasant. It's kind of the closest I could get to the mother hen type character that I was thinking of. Blossomfall is Shenotic, a dangerous grass type Pokemon lurking around in the woods. Bumblestripe is Beedrill, because Bumblestripe is a bee. Briarlight is Centret. I wanted to specifically choose an unevolved Pokemon for Briarlight, um, and I also wanted to pick one that was kind of brown and cute. <laughs> Daisy is Mareep. She's just soft. Daisy's soft. Berry Nose is Galvantula, because I would really think of Berry Paw as being Joltic. 
Cinderheart I have listed as Rockruff, and I don't remember why. <laughs> I think maybe I was trying to parallel with uh, Cinder Pelt's um, Stuffle, but I I'm not really sure. Honeyfern is some flora because she is sunny and happy and yellow. Poppy Frost is Dugong. I was specifically going for an ice type for Poppy Frost because Frost is a pretty rare extension of the name. But ice type is also a pretty rare type, so I was just trying to find a Pokemon that was almost suitable. Meanwhile, Breeze Pelt is Sableye. Uh, for a while, Sableye was a Pokemon that didn't have any weaknesses, so it was kind of intimidating, and I feel that's kind of the aura that Breeze Pelt gives off. Soul is Absol, not just because they have the same name, but also because Absol is kind of a bringer of bad news. Heathertail is Oricorio, preferably the purple one. I wanted her to definitely be a flying type, and I wanted her to definitely be something that was graceful. Dovewing is Audino, the only Pokemon that kind of has similar radar-like sensing powers. Ivypool is Togedemaru. I wanted her to be a small Pokemon that doesn't evolve, so that it would kind of make sense that she's going and training herself to be better. Tigerstar II is Tyrantrum. I really just wanted him to be a big, intimidating, you know, scary type character. I think he may or may not be the only Pokemon... Ooh, the only cat that I gave a dragon type, but that wasn't really on purpose. Flametail is Panseer, a Pokemon that could reasonably be a healer, has a flame on its tail, and isn't Charmander. Dawnpelt is Kadabra. I was kind of thinking about her color, but also the way that everybody just kind of believes her for no reason. So if she resembled a wise psychic type, it would make more sense that everybody takes her seriously. Rock is Sigilyph, a Pokemon that was the guardian of an ancient city, and I think Rock is kind of the guardian of the ancient territory the Warrior Cats are currently on. Fallen Leaves is Gorgeist, a grass type and a ghost. Leaf Star is Victory Bell. I was really just looking for a tough looking grass type for her, something that wasn't, you know, too soft and get stepped on-y. Rockwing is Noivern. I lied about the dragon type thing, apparently. Uh, I picked Noivern because it's one, a flying type, which goes along with Hawk, and two, a Pokemon that would seem strong and intimidating and be reasonable why Darktail wanted it on his side. Pebbleshine is Crocorock. I was really just looking for a mischievous ground type Pokemon. Darktail is Houndoom because I wanted a Pokemon that looked very obviously evil and was also a dark type. Alderheart is Slowking. He took a very long time to get on top of things, but now he is on top of things. Sparkpelt is Manectric. I wanted her to be a completely opposite character to Alderheart. Needletail is Skarmory, and I feel like Skarmory is the absolute most fitting Pokemon to the character in this entire video. Twigbranch is Ditto. I was mostly just thinking about the way that she kind of changes, goes from clan to clan. She's very adaptable, but she's not really happy in being adaptable. Violet Shine is Binette. Uh, her arc really deals with a lot of loneliness and wanting a family, and I feel like that's suitable for this Pokemon. Tree is Sudowoodo, because even though his name is Tree, he is not a real tree. Greywing is Archaeops. He starts out very strong, but throughout his life he starts getting weaker and weaker. Clear Sky is Crobat. I wanted to go for a flying type, but I also wanted to go for a flying type that's a little malicious. Thunder is Luxray. When I think of Thunder, I think of lions, even though he wasn't actually a lion. Uh, but I didn't want to go with Pyroar, because obviously Thunder is an electric name, so Luxray it is. Lightning Tail is Zebstrika, because he's always just behind Thunder. For Turtle Tail, I chose Corsola. I definitely wanted to choose a rock type for her. And I think that Corsola's general body shape is what convinced me. Tom is Marini because he destroyed Turtletail. Tall Shadow is Haunchcrow. I was definitely going for a dark type Pokemon, and I was looking for a Pokemon that kind of looked like it was the boss. Windrunner is Ninjask, because Ninjask is the fastest. River Ripple is Azumarill. I chose Azumarill because it's a kind of laid back Pokemon, but it's also aware of its surroundings. Jagged Peak is Kabutops. I wanted a Pokemon that looks like it might have a little bit of trouble fitting in, but also a rock type. Starflower is Comfey because I don't like her and I think everybody else is pretending to. Bristlefrost is Glaceon. I wanted a decidedly graceful ice type for Bristlefrost because she's a very strong, confident cat. 
Root paws hit him on top. I like to imagine root paws the kind of person who would kick you 50 times a second. Shadow paws meow stick, a psychic type Pokemon who has a lot of potential. Last of all, Stemleaf is Sawsbuck. I wanted just a calm, gentle grass type for him. And oh no, this is the longest one yet. <laughs> I just wanted to, you know, get all those characters in there this time, because every single time I make one of these, somebody's out there going, And, uh, where's Hawkfrost? Where is Hawkfrost? It's very important.